everybody and welcome down to Gelang Sarai Virtual Community Club and we're here again of course this is our optimal aging talk show uh, today we are going to talk about sensory functions and changes and Doris please dive in for us in today Hi that. everyone <laughs> hello welcome to our talk show again okay this is um, mm. first of all we want to do a reminder and disclaimer that both of us are not medical professionals mm. uh, you know and everyone has different sets of underlying conditions so mm. it's best that you consult with your doctors or any medical professionals for more advice and personalized advice mm, that's right yeah this is just a disclaimer before we can continue also um if doris's friends you're watching please give a shout out okay write a comment and of course uh, we'd like to keep you in our interactive uh this uh talk show in the meantime of course uh, Doris, you'd like to tell us yep. more about... Uh, okay, we'll just do a short reminder of what we have been uh, you know, trying to remind everyone about optimal ageing. So these are just three simple strategies that I would like to remind everyone before uh, our session starts. Mm. Just three simple things. First of all, let's exercise. Mm. You know, we have learned so far that uh, exercise is uh, very helpful to us yes. and we have like future sessions also, how can it help us and what kind of exercises we can do. Oh, I'm going to cut you there for a while. Right. Uh, Karen once says a big hello to Dory. Hi, Karen. Thank you, Karen, for joining our show. <laughs> yes, indeed. Um, last week, of course, we were talking about yoga. We had examples of some yoga exercises. Uh, well, today, later on, we'll give you more examples of uh, bodily and, of course, uh, exercises that you can do even if you're sitting down. Yes, um, of okay. Course, so uh, first of the strategy is exercise, right? Mm. Like we mentioned, the second one is to eat. You know, what goes inside our mouth and our body. You know, we try to eat properly with the right kind of nutritious diet according to our own body condition. That's the second type. Yeah, and nutrition is very important as, uh, of course, uh, we age, we need even more optimal nutrients. Yeah, yeah. customize, you know. Customize. Uh, sometimes, maybe I don't need so much sugar, but maybe I need more protein. Or maybe I cannot have too much protein. Uh, yes. you know, so we have to understand our own body types, then of course we personalize and cater the proper kind of diet to mm. fit you know, what we eat. So it, it, there's this saying, Aline, what we eat uh, is what we are, correct? Yeah, indeed, Something indeed. like that, health is wealth. <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's right. So whatever goes into your body also, you know, is uh, something that you portray and output. So be very careful and then uh, later on, of course, Doris will be sharing with you uh, how to optimise nutrients in your diet as well. Okay, uh, mm. also maybe the third one you guys cannot see, but it's actually having a decent social support system, which mm. I think is very important, especially now they're going back to having no die out and uh, two person Back can go out. Back to phase two. Uh. Yeah, but in the meantime, uh, another big shout out from Winnie Lim saying hello. Hi Winnie. Hello. Yes, and we have Tio Eng Min. Tio En Ming. Hello Tio En Ming. How Hi. are you? How are you? Yes, uh, our talk show is more interactive. So uh, later on, if you've got any questions at all or any comments, uh, please feel free to add it please. into the comment segment. And then of course, myself and Doris uh, will try to approach and uh, to uh, share with you as well and talk about the topics and the comments that you have. And in the meantime, social support is important. Yeah, that's why I was saying that, you know, because of the heightened alert, the, uh, you know, that the news has just come out, mm -hmm. uh, we cannot go out physically. Yes. So what we can do is that uh, let's have a social you know, network mm. and a proper social system mm. right now online, virtually. You know, it's just the two of us here talking to each other and sharing some tips. But it would be very nice that you guys can also you know, do a bit of typing, you know, share with us, say hi, you know, give us your input, give us your comment, ask questions, even though I don't, even if both of us cannot answer, but make something, make everybody think. So yes. this session is all about social support, yes. you know, sharing ideas and make us, you know, think as well. <laughs> yeah, indeed, indeed, yes. Uh, this is like an ecosystem. Uh. Mm -hmm. uh, so now that uh, we can't physically, like Doris say, go out, we can still keep active. Uh. Our mind can be kept alert and you can still interact. Uh, this way we have the Gelang Surai uh, Virtual Community Club programs uh, with us. You can uh, uh, speak your mind as well and then we'll uh, reply and then uh, we'll keep it going uh, as an active Please. program. Yes. Yeah. If not, we will ask funny questions and get the audience <laughs> to you know, reply. You know, that's yeah. the worst we can do. So I think the audience happy. would like that, no? Okay, we've got Jenny We Hi, Hello, hi Doris. Jenny. Jenny says hi, Doris. Hi. Yeah. So, uh, yes, uh, thank you so much to Doris's friends for coming on to the show. Yeah, keep your comments coming in, okay? And uh, if you're in the show, do drop a hi so that we know you're here and um, we'll, of course, interact with you as well. 
All right. So uh, maybe I'll just move on a bit to the next one. The next one is sounds very serious. Mm. Is you know how we change as we age. Remember we were saying that when you are a fetus inside the mother's womb, mm. you are growing. It's already considered aging. Mm. For me, it's the same thing. Correct. Right? So uh, body composition, organ systems, and sensory functions will change. Yes. This is our physiology. La. We are talking about our body system right now. Yes. Uh, combo, body composition and organ system. Today, Hari Raya. We want to wish everybody <laughs> Salamat Hari Raya. Salamat. You know, enjoy your PH. Mm, Salamat Hari Raya. <laughs> so, we don't want to talk about something so serious like mm. body composition or organ system, which sounds quite serious for today, you see, mm. because being a public we, holiday, make something everyone like la. yeah. Festive, so, we talk yeah. about sensory function, which mm. is very educational, makes us think about you know our body as well but it's a less serious less scary aspect of you know psychological changes okay mm. so um with aging right uh, as you mentioned the previous time uh, there's a lot of factors so one of it is uh, physiological changes yes, with we've age huh? we've got yeah, bo body composition maybe you'd like to share a bit more yeah uh, we will touch on it on future sessions ah, future sessions okay yeah, but of course body composition of course uh, we know that our body is make up a lot of things for example water mm. Fats, mm. muscle, mm. the bones, mm. you know, this is our body composition. Yes. So, uh, when we are growing and aging, our body composition will change. So, mm. I actually have this very nice graph, you know, uh, according to research, what are the changes that, uh, you know, appear over the time. Mm. So, it's like, for example, uh, people say that, you know, I don't know whether I've ever heard that women has higher fat content than men. Mm, yes. Yeah, so roughly, you know, we have about... 30% la, let's say. Mm. But as I grow older, in the next 30 years mm. or next 50 years, definitely the uh, ratio between uh, my fats, mm. my muscles, mm. my water will change. Mm. Yeah. So uh, in the future session, we will talk about body composition and mm. how this ratio changes and how it will affect us and what we can do mm. to optimize the ratio. Ah, yeah. to optimize the ratio. Wow. Okay, I didn't know we can do that. Huh? That is uh, very Im important information. So, friends, if you are listening and watching in, yeah, you can, uh, of course, also tap a comment or something you want to learn more about. Doris's friends, especially. Oh, Spencer says hi, hi. Hello, Spencer. Mm. Maybe uh, just a little hack on yes. body composition. Since, you know, we got like our friends and viewers viewing, uh, tuning in right now. Yes, yeah. we also got Pan Chun Hyung. Hello, Hello. Pan Chun Hyung. Hi. Mm. Yeah, so uh, maybe a little hint on how we can change our body composition. Remember, yes. we say body composition is water, mm. fats, muscle, etc, etc. Yeah. One thing is our muscle will be affected. So how do we actually maintain or build up our muscle so mm. that, you know, the muscle composition is still within the body? Mm. What do you think? No, I don't know. You tell yeah. us the answer. Yeah, share. Oh, why not we do this? We uh, open it up to Doris's friends and everyone watching. Maybe you can ask your question again for okay. everybody. Okay, so it's like, you know, because uh, of body composition will actually change as we grow and age, correct? So, uh, one, one, what is one way, one of the most common way that we can actually maintain or improve our muscle ratio composition in our body. Mm. I think you gave some of the answers just now, uh, <laughs> like nutrition and all. So I'll leave more of the answers for our friends, you know, who's listening and watching. Uh, you can drop a comment here. So what do you think? Yeah, just uh, one word will ways. do. Just, just one? one word. Nutrition already said, so y'all cannot use that. <laughs> <laughs> because Dr. Doris mentioned already. Yes. Okay, so if you're good on this topic, drop us a comment. Yes. So, okay, okay I'll continue. Okay, so uh, today we'll be talking uh, more about sensory functions, mm. like I mentioned earlier. But before we get to that, show you guys something a little bit scary about ah. chronic conditions. Okay. Okay, uh, just a very short uh, explanation. What is chronic condition? Chronic conditions are usually long term and more than three months are generally, mm. tend to be permanent and uh, you know, might require some long term management. So, um, maybe I'll give some example of chronic conditions. For example, things like diabetes. Uh, some people say uh, they have like heart attack. Mm. Um, yeah, there is like uh, asthma, chronic. Mm. That means it happens more than three months, I don't think. Mm. Then uh, there's acute conditions as well. So, acute is usually very rapid and onset. It's oh. very short but 
can be very serious and severe, like having a fever, having an infection. Mm. Uh, you make myself more weak also. Like for a chronic condition, you can still function. It's just that, you know, this is a long-term condition and will affect you, but it's not as weak, you know, compared to having an acute condition. Mm. And you require more care. For example, like, you know, if an older adult is getting a cold, they will have a greater risk of more serious conditions as well. Mm. Yeah. Indeed, indeed. Let's see if we've got any comments coming for the answers. Oh, I think they don't dare to type yet. Uh, well, just how Doris's question was this. Uh, she's saying about uh, bodily functions, you know, uh, and she wants to know if uh, we want to improve our muscle mass, you know, what are some of the activities or the um, mindful uh, things that we can do? So one of it, definitely nutrition, exercise. <laughs> what else? What else? Keep your comments coming in, okay? <laughs> okay, so the now answer we is exercise, to... actually. <laughs> okay, so exercise indeed because uh, you build your muscle mass. Yeah, resistance training, your ah, yeah, which so build Doris muscles. has shared with us as well some of the exercises. Uh, and uh, we had some pictures, you know, of bicep curls, yeah, yeah, lunges, quads, uh, lunges yeah, and all. To build mm. our muscles in yeah. our upper body and upper body as well. Yeah. Yep. Okay, okay, so we have changes in sensory function. Okay, so first of all, maybe we just talk a bit, what are sensory functions? So, mm. you know, in primary school, we actually studied that, you know, we have five senses. Yes. Correct or not? So the five senses, according to the order of these photos here, is hearing. Mm -hmm. You know what we hear? Yeah. O auditory. Yeah. Sound. And yeah. The nose. This one is actually... Ah, this nose, okay. Smelling, smelling. Yeah. We smell things. Hey, friends, if you're watching, maybe you can type before we say all the five different sensory <laughs> functions. So we've mentioned, you know, auditory, sound. Hello, hello. Yeah, then a bit of uh, smell. So what's the next one? Uh, taste. Could, yes, huh? Uh, oh, taste. I, I oh, yeah, it. okay. So we let them type, yeah? <laughs> oh, sorry about so that. So you see the mouth? Yeah, the mouth. Taste so good food. <laughs> so Doris, I gave the answer. Then the other one, you see the eyes. So if you can tell us the answer over there. And the final one is, so you see someone clasping the hands, right? So that would be, yeah, that would be, what? we'll wait for your answers to come in as we move along, right, to the next topic. <laughs> yeah. So do drop us the comment and the answer. So the picture here, you can see we've already mentioned three. The first one is auditory, the sound. Uh, second one is sense of smell. The third one is, of course, taste. Yeah, Doris has mentioned the mouth, so it's taste. The next picture, what do you think that is? What kind of senses that would be? And the, uh, the, the final one, yeah, this is, you know, clasping hands. Yes, you've got, I don't want to say the word. So <laughs> that is the sense of what, yeah, okay. Yes, it's touch as well as what's the sense. Mm, thank you. We'll wait for your comments to come in as we move along. <laughs> okay, so uh, since we already talked about, uh, you know, okay. Yeah, ah, okay, mind. here we got yep. Karen. Karen, Hi, Karen says, here, yes. Taste, yes, that's the mouth. Touch, indeed, Correct. that's right. So, Thank you, Karen. Mm, yes, the final picture, that's the sense of touch, feeling, sense of touch and feeling. And she says also sight and smell. Thank you, Karen. All very important. Yeah. All our sensory, very important. Cannot indeed. imagine that, you know, one day, uh, body people like us, slowly if we change our, you know, there's change in the function, you know, <laughs> think what will happen. So we have to anticipate that's why I actually produce, uh, you know, help to uh, prepare all these slides so yes. that we can know what are the changes that will be happening to us, ah. you know, so that we are mentally prepared. Yes. And you know, anything that we can do to prevent, you know, or uh, this prolong. Yeah. Yeah. I'm correct, yeah. Prolong. Indeed, because I managed to get a glimpse, you know, a peep of Doris's. Uh, notes and presentation so indeed coming up uh, there's uh, some revelation you know that as we age optimal aging as we age right uh, certain organ functions you know would deteriorate uh, and Doris will share with us how we can catch it uh, before it goes uh, into uh, very uh, drastic stages right. yeah, and the exercises that we can do uh, to maintain them yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, it's not about trying to scare anyone. Oh, you know? yes, are, yes. This is just by, uh, the more we know, the less we are afraid. Because people usually tend to be afraid of the unknown. Yes, if they indeed. don't have the knowledge, they will be like scared. Indeed, like, indeed. For me. knowledge yeah. is gold. That's why yeah, they say knowledge yeah. is king. Knowledge, knowledge is, is power. <laughs> knowledge is power indeed. If you've got another tagline, please drop it here. Uh, so we've got knowledge is king, knowledge is power, knowledge is gold. What else is knowledge? Ah, or what else is mindfulness and what else is health? So Doris's friend, you can drop a comment, you know? Yeah, another tagline that you have for us for our show. In the meantime, we'll Okay, in the meantime, yeah. I'll talk about vision, our eyes. Okay. Our 
very nice uh, window to the world, right? Is that what they say? The, yes, our eyes is the, the window to the world. Eyes are the window to our soul. Oh, the our yeah, soul. window to our soul. <laughs> so to go through the eyes, and of course we use our eyes. Yes, it's the window to. Uh, everything. No, yeah, everything, you know, we look outside. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, some of the changes in our vision, as mm. times go by, as we grow, as we age, mm. somehow or rather, you know, they'll be less responsive yes. to low light levels. Mm -hmm. That's why, uh, you know, um, we need like three times more light to function more efficiently. Mm. Effic uh, yeah, effectively. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you, you can see like a lot of places which are like age friendly facilities like the toilet. Yeah. Not only they have the handlebar, right? Mm. You know, to help to support. Yeah. They are also very bright, a lot of like white light. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of the so called uh, handlebars and the basin, they are trying like doing colorful also. So uh, it's like even in a uh, senior activity center, yes. they try to make it bright and colorful, mm. so to make it more age friendly. Ah, yeah, so correct. that's the reason uh, we have uh, different color code, color tone, bright uh, colors. Bright colors. Yeah, because our eyes, you know, will be less responsive. So you know, now the trend for people is to have like dark dim lights, very romantic, correct. right? Yeah, okay. candle. And what light. do you say about those? Uh? Uh, I would say that if you are young, of course, go for it. Okay. But if there's a, you know, older adult living there, mm -hmm. uh, I would say that for practical reasons, let's have bright lights. Mm. Let's have brighter colors, colorful yes. uh, furniture, walls, you know, so that uh, because eyesight is something that if we never no experience the impairment, mm. we wouldn't understand. Yeah. So of course, hoping that you know this little section, a little talk show, will help uh, more people to understand that you know there are actually limitation and impairment that will happen to older adults, which right. might happen to us as well. So uh, it would be good that you know to be on the understanding side, you know, uh, do some changes, mm. modifications to the. Uh, so, uh, surroundings mm. so that you will uh, you know uh, benefit them more ah. because if you see from the slide uh, other than you know saying about the eye the technical side is that it responds more slowly to changes in light conditions as well mm. uh, in yellow color I put danger mm. danger means that there is actually the risk of knocks and fall if you cannot see as clearly right because of some uh, vision conditions, mm. your eyesight is not that good anymore, mm. it's very dangerous because you tend to knock on things mm. and you tend to fall down also because you cannot see properly. Mm. Yeah, I see. Um, for the dim lightings, right, then would it actually uh, affect our eyesight and uh, make it deteriorate even faster if we have this I condition? would say that uh, different people react differently. Mm. Yeah, but of course, remember our previous sessions, we were talking about blue light for handphone. Yes. Yeah, maybe I can share my personal experience mm. on how I deal with blue light. Sure. Yeah, because uh, at home, right, I have handphone, I have laptop, I have a tablet, I have a television set. Mm. So it's like every few minutes, I'll be looking at one of these devices. Oh. Yeah, so my eyesight is actually getting pretty bad now. So what I do, uh, I think since last year, late last year or early this year, I changed all the display setting to nightlight. That means there's a warm ah. pin on it. That is actually part of the setting. I see. So even your mobile phone, there's I think uh, they call it light light or true something. True tone. They call it true tone. Warm tone? Warm light uh, tone. So there's like warmer? Yeah, it's uh, warmer. Yeah. So if you see my mobile phone is actually uh, like you know like On having a filter, a, a yellow color or warm color filter. Ah. I don't know how much it helps, but uh, I'm trying my best over here. And of course, uh, there are some glasses that you can buy. They call it uh, anti, anti blue, blue light, light. Yes. glasses lenses. So you, when you're at home, I mean. Uh, it might be slightly inconvenient, but try to wear a good one. Mm. Uh, yeah, and look at all the devices. Mm. And then, of course, there is another way. The third way mm. uh, is that they buy the filter. It's a sheet filter. Mm. So what my friend did is that they buy and then they paste it over the televisions. Uh, uh, maybe the devices, yes. but not the TV, because the TV is now very big, right? Yes. Yeah, so these are the three ways that I know of mm. that can so-called block Reduce. out the blue light and hopefully help us, you know, maintain our vision oh. so that it don't get worse, deteriorate. Wow, so blue light is really uh, quite uh, uh, problematic, yeah, when mm -hmm. it comes to in the long run. Uh. Yeah. We try to do what we can, uh, of course. Mm. Yeah. Yep, understand. Okay. okay, so moving on, this changes in vision. And okay, vision. so this is actually a condition. Mm. Uh, Glaucoma. Mm, glaucoma, yes. Yes. Mm. 
So uh, the technical side is of course there's a high uh, fluid pressure inside the and damage the optic nerve, right? So when you see things, uh, somehow you can only see the middle and all the surrounding side like gonna block. You cannot see well. So it's uh, like, you know, the worse you get, the more the black patch is. Mm. Yeah. So uh, of course, the result is that, you know, you, you, the dangerous part is that you tend to knock and fall so yeah. because of limited vision. Wow. And it results in narrowing of field of vision because fluid cannot drain away. But we have tear duct. Uh. Can we drain the fluid from the tear duct? Um, okay. I think this one is best to talk to the eye doctor. Uh, uh. Yeah, because uh, I'm not an eye doctor also. Yes, but yes. Uh, understanding that these are, you know, very so-called common, mm. age-related uh, eye conditions. Yes, indeed, yep. indeed. Yeah, yeah. so uh, this one will happen to uh, people sooner or later, so it's good to take note of this as well. So not only dangerous in knock and falls, but you know, if you can't see properly where the sideboard, you mm. know, you can mistaken and right, yeah, right. result in uh, confusion as well. Huh? And the worst mm. thing is that, you know, it's like you have very limited vision, you yeah. have a lot of blind spots, you cannot see, you have to keep yeah. burning your head also. Then people, because this is a gradual thing, right? It's yes. not like one shot. So when it's a gradual thing, you tend to get lazy. So yeah. you don't have the habit of moving your head anymore. Mm -hmm. And it get dangerous. You never know that maybe there will be some oh. vehicle at the side while we are walking or crossing the road. Yeah. Uh, yeah so it's like you. the field of vision is blocked. Huh? Yeah, correct. You wow, have a very narrow view. Oh. Then at the side, you cannot see. Wow, okay, especially for people who drive then this would be quite dangerous because mm. you would think that you have already your para, para vision uh, feel eh? right. but actually you, are, you have a limited feel of vision only. Yeah. Wow. And so, the worst part like I said because it's a gradual thing yes. so you won't realise it and yeah, mm. you get used to it already. The body and the brain, you know, the system already got to, got ah. used to it. Oh, this is one small function okay. because it's a gradual thing. I so, see. you know, it can get dangerous. So, like. this is a good topic to bring up. Uh, we bring across the various changes in vision uh, when it comes to aging. So, if you catch it early, uh, you can get a specialist to look into it. And, of course, uh, try the best to maintain or to reverse the aging. Otherwise, to be aware and mindful that you have it so that uh, you're in control of the surroundings. Correct. Situation. Correct. Yeah. Yep. Mm. So I move on to the next one, which is cataract. Oh, okay, we've got a question okay. from Dave. So question, how about eye supplement? What type do they work? And thank you. Thank you, Dave, so much for your question. <laughs> thank about you. About eye supplements. Yep. Yeah. And what uh, type? Eye supplements usually they contain a few uh, of these antioxidants mm. or you know. Uh, for example, we were talking about leucine. Yes. And uh, the other one, I think, is... Goji berry. Yep. Yeah. So there's a lot of food that contains all these uh, uh, so-called components. Yes, yes, yes. Antioxidants. Mm. Correct. Now, so uh, previously, I think we were talking about eating these foods whole rather than eating supplements. Mm. I mean, supplements is you eat under the advice of your doctor. Of course, doctors ah. say you must eat, you know, then of course, then you eat. Mm. If not, I would say that for me personally, I would choose to rather eat the whole fruit. Eat the blueberry, eat the avocado, including the green part outside. Uh, that means you peel away the skin. Ah. There is the green colour, dark green. Yeah, eat that one. That one is leucine. Ah. which is good for the eyes. Yeah, then grapes, your uh, goji berry, yes. all these food. So eat them because somehow um, there are studies that says that supplements, right, you will need your liver to process also. Oh. It's not like directly into your stomach, then digest, then of course break out. Mm. Yeah, correct. So it's like one extra step. That means your liver have to work a bit harder also. So oh. I'll check with your doctor that, you know, if the supplement is required or not. Yeah, ah. because some people, they just don't eat fruits or vegetables, then of course the doctor will say, then you have to go for supplements. But mm. for people like us who enjoy eating fruits and vegetables, mm. it will be good to you know, stick to fresh fruits and vegetables. Ah, thank you so much Doris for that answer. I uh, certainly hope Dave that we have uh, kind of answered your question, but keep your questions coming in. Please, please. So in, indeed, uh, I also, uh, if uh, I, I thank Dave for this question because I would want to ask this as well, you know, to maintain a healthy eyesight, you know, what can we do? So Dave brought up, yes, we can supplement, but Doris said even better, uh, you can skip the supplement but eat the foods that contains these antioxidants, vitamins and minerals whole. And it's usually like the like you mentioned, is the grapes. Grapes. The avocado, avocado, the blueberries. Blueberries. 
goji mm. berries. Goji berry. Goji berry contains a lot of antioxidant. Yeah. Yep. And it's perfect. No, goji berry you can eat it raw. Yeah. But usually people put it in warm Soups. water. Oh, warm water. Uh, hot water. Let it uh, steep, steep a bit. You know, then they drink the water and eat the goji berry as yes, well. Yes, correct. Uh, very in, chewy. In porridge also, you can yeah, put in porridge. Yeah, porridge. And the porridge becomes very uh, a little Texture. bit starchy. Yeah? Texture, the texture. Texture, nice. yeah, the texture becomes very nice, thicker, you know, thicker texture. Yeah, then a chewy, like you mentioned. Actually, I surprisingly actually found uh, there was a few years back, I was in the supermarket, yeah. and I found this imported product. It's actually chocolate coated goki berry. Wow! That means they actually have uh, normal goki berry, yeah. wolf berries, yes. uh, and they coat with a thin layer of chocolate. Very uh -huh. nice. So you eat like a snack. I don't know whether it's still being sold. Uh -huh. I bought it once and I really enjoy it. Wow. And it comes in like small packaging so mm. that you know it's like one serving. So you don't need to like you won't tend to overeat like, because chocolate too much is also not good for us. Ah, uh, indeed, yeah. indeed, indeed. And there's also black goji berry. Oh, I never heard of that. Yeah, it's uh, even higher in the antioxidants. Okay, okay. But the black goji berry, uh, you can't cook in porridge, mm. can't cook in soup. Uh. Normally, uh, put in hot water and then you drink and consume. Mm. Wow. Good, good yep. topic this, yeah. Thanks for sharing. Keep the comments and questions coming. <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay, so the other one is cataract, where you know you have a blur vision. Mm. So this is like clouding of the lens, so that the, because there's a clouding already, uh, so the light cannot properly enter. Yes. So that's why we see things tend to blur. So of course, this one also affects, you know, our... Well, we were at the risk of blur knocking into vision. things or falls as well because we see things a bit blur. Ah, yeah. So for wow. me, I'm also in the early stages of cataract because mm. it's a very gradual thing. So somehow, you know, uh, I see things a little bit blur. Oh. And it's only once in a while, it's not all the time. Okay. Yeah, so it's a very slight gradual thing. Uh. Then after that, you realise that, oh, I have, you know, vision changes already. And my sensory function is being affected already. Oh dear. <laughs> So, uh, cataract, is it reversible? Uh, that I'm not Surgery. too sure. Mm. Um, but the thing is that, I, from what I understand, that we can still try to maintain it. Lah. Ah, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. But all in all, do seek a professional medical yeah. uh, advice. Yeah? Uh, if you suspect that you have any of these conditions, yeah, to speak with your specialist. Yep. Mm. So, the other one, is AMD. So AMD, okay, remember just now we said glaucoma is like the side, the surrounding you cannot see. Yeah. This one is like the opposite. This one is the middle, the sharpest point you cannot see. Oh my, okay. Yeah. So it's like when you try to focus on somebody, right, you want to see the face, it's actually being blocked out. Yeah, so you only see the blur version. Mm. Mm, so it's like the opposite. So this one is Age actually... Age-related macular degeneration. All right. Loss of sharpness in the centre of the visual field. Wow, that's very dangerous, you know, mm -hmm. right in the middle. So yeah. this one also uh, is one of the conditions that uh, if you suspect they have it, just talk to a doctor or you know, make an appointment with the eye centre or something like that. Yes, indeed. Mm. indeed. So we have to take care of our eyes. Yes. They have been you know, a very important part of our lives. So uh, don't abuse them. Uh, treat them well. You know, proper diet, and of course, uh, we will be covering some uh, simple exercises mm. for our eyes later as well. I look forward to that, yes. Mm. Because then I we all of us can do together, just a very simple one. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Yeah, and Doris's friends, you know, do it together, and you can, of course, uh, let us know how you're doing and how you feel about yep. it. Okay, so this one, touch, sense of touch. Mm -hmm. Okay, sense of touch, people don't really think much of it like, compared to the eyes. Eyes is like everybody knows that it can be very serious, you know, go to an eye doctor, but there's no like so-called touch centre. <laughs> there's eye <laughs> centre, center. there's no touch centre. <laughs> nerve centre, yes. Uh. Okay, yeah, nerve centre, yes. Uh. So, touch is less sensitive, mm. you know, and uh, it's dry skin. And if you see the picture on the right, right, is uh, myself doing impairment tools. So what I do is that I wear the durian <laughs> cotton gloves uh, uh -huh. and I try to count money. Uh. And because uh, it, it so-called, it simulates like, you know, dry skin, the sense of touch, loss of sensitivity already, right? Yes. So my skin is like dry. You know, wearing durian gloves is very dry and not sensitive. Yes. So it's very hard to pick up the money and count the money. Yeah. So once you try it, then you know how difficult it is. Uh. Yeah, so and you see I'm wearing the eyes, it's actually an uh, impairment as well. Oh. You, you guys can try, you know, if you want. Mm. Just take her old pair of glasses, wrap it with like Pao Sin's clean wrap. Yes. Yeah, then you can uh, simulate the 
symptoms of cataract. That mm -hmm. means you have blur vision. So imagine having blur vision and having like dry skin. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to do a lot of things. So simple uh. things, things they like to do, count money, go yes. into the cashier, pay money, collect money. <laughs> then you realize that it's not easy. Once you try it, then you know how difficult it is. Oh. Mm. Right. Okay, because we live um, amongst our family members and loved ones as well and definitely there will be ageing uh, parents or grandparents uh, amongst us. So this is a, uh, Doris has taught us a good way to have empathy, you know, to have empathy and to have compassion. So uh, to understand in their position, you know, how it be for them if they have uh, like uh, less vision, peripheral vision, you know, and less sense of touch. Huh? So this is a way you can actually uh, try and then yes. know, put yourself in their position. So yes. you can actually help them better yeah. and understand how they feel when they move about their daily activities. Huh? Because we never try, we never experience, we wouldn't understand. Mm. So like what you said, put ourselves in the shoes, yes. then we know how difficult it is and we uh, have a total different perception. perception. Yeah. Yeah. Perspective and all. Correct. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Mm. Okay, so of course the danger part, what are the dangers? Uh, you guys can also add in, yes. you know, the two that I can think of is of course not enforced because they're not so sensitive anymore. Oh, that's an article I've come across, you know, uh, some people, well, in particular this girl, she was, she's born with very little, very, very little sense mm -hmm. and it ended up she has knocks and fall mm. and she bite herself and she gets burned and everything and she doesn't know. Yes. And she's... Um, she even injured herself very, very badly. So mm. she's a bit of a handicap already. But still, she's happy because she don't feel it, you know. Yeah, but she lo lose um, her ability to, to walk properly because she injured herself. Yeah, yeah then she's got um, dressings and wounds and open wound and all, no, and infection and all as well. Very sad story. Yeah. So, of course, um, this will teach us, you know, this story also teach us that uh, we have to notice because of course loss of touch is also a very gradual thing. We mm. wouldn't realize one. Yes. So because it's so gradual, then we also did not realize that we got injury already. Yeah. Like we, you know, not on something. Mm. We have a bruise. We did not realize. Yeah. We cut ourselves like paper cut or when we are handling a scissors or knife. We cut ourselves. We also will not realize. Yeah. And if you don't treat it, then it becomes infection. Correct. Correct. Infection yeah. is very scary. So. so uh, people with di diabetes, mm -hmm. I have to be careful of this correct, as well, correct. yeah, because the sense of touch, the senses, the uh, the nerve, uh, they call it, yeah, mm. it's a bit less uh, sanitized. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, desen desensitized. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. Yes. So, any more questions you like to ask or want to know more about the topic that we're talking about? Do drop your comments. Okay. Otherwise, we move on. Okay. The next one is one of my favorite. Taste and smell. Yes. Smell and taste. And they are very related to food. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes, uh, you know, you can smell the weather, you can smell nice perfume. But for us Singaporeans mostly, right, what we love most is the smell of food. <laughs> then, of course, when you smell food, wow, smell nice, uh, then you want to taste it. Yes. <laughs> we Singaporeans love food, right? It's a luxury to have the sense of smell, you know? Yeah, yes. So we don't take it for granted, huh? yes, treasure. Please. Mm. So correct, uh, because of uh, the process, right, the growing and aging process, so the smell and the taste become less sensitive. So our food and beverage somehow we will tend to find it a bit tasteless. Mm. Then the danger of it is that, hey, hey, no taste, then we put more sugar, hey, we put more salt, oh, more soya sauce. Then, of course, you know, it's not good for us because we have higher and sodium and sugar intake oh which exceed our daily, you know, requirement already. Mm. Then it will lead to more problems like obesity, kidney heart function. problem, kidney function, renal you know, conditions, this and that, which yeah. is no good. So, you know, we have to uh, notice this, know about this in advance to help us, you know, control that. It's, maybe it's not because the food has no taste. Mm. Maybe it's because my tongue is more sens less sensitive now. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Mm. Then, of course, the other danger that I can think of is that maybe the food has become rancid or rotten. Oh, dear. You smell. You say, maybe it look okay. Yeah. But when you smell, it's like called sour, sour smell or uh -huh. some weird smell. But because of the loss of sen uh, sensitivity, yeah. you cannot detect. Mm. Then you eat, then you got problem, diarrhea or food poisoning. Oh dear. Yeah. Okay. So sounds very serious, right? But as a reminder, let us know about this. This is knowledge that we know mm. so that we can prevent it. Let's know about it now rather than don't know and then get into trouble. Correct? Okay, no? yes. It's preventive measures. Yep. Yeah indeed. Mm. So the other thing about less of taste and smell is uh less saliva. We tend to have drier mouth. Oh. Then when that happens 
you tend to choke on food, ah. which is very dangerous. Because <laughs> like if the food right choke ah, go into the windpipe, the lung. Ah, ah trachea. Then, yeah, ah. it's very unfortunate. Like, then you got to go to hospital, see a doctor, things like that. I Get see, dangerous. I see. Yeah, can be life-threatening also. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. So, um, so what if uh, they drink more water, would it? Uh, compliment, you know. The uh, thing is that because it's so gradual, uh, yeah. So there's always a risk there. You see, higher risk compared to us. Like for example, we have normal salivation. Yes. They have lower. You cannot like keep telling them drink water, drink water. Uh, they also will forget. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> you can try. Of course, they can try, but sometimes they will forget also. Wow. Then they choke on water. Also a problem. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Mm, because the saliva come down their own mouth. Mm. Yeah, you, I mean, we can try and see if the older adult is comfortable with that. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So, uh, anything about our favorite smell and taste topic food? <laughs> <laughs> Let me check the comments section. Imagine uh, that day I was at home, then I smell people eating durians. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Spencer, you got any uh, questions for Doris? How about Jenny? <laughs> Winnie? Ah. Don't have all watching. All watching, yeah. Karen, how about you? You got any comments? Yeah, maybe they are cooking, you know, oh, yeah, dinner time, yeah. yeah. yeah? Correct. Uh, so we also got sense of hearing, loss of high frequency hearing. That's what indeed that's what I heard, no, because like mosquito. Uh, one mm. very good example is the mosquito. Uh, apparently, children, younger children, they can hear the mosquito going by. Indeed. And then as we age right older, we don't we didn't know that there's a mosquito around. So I think this is what um, your slide is about a uh, sense yep. of hearing, loss of high frequency hearing as uh, we continue to age. Then sound and speech is distorted due to poor quality amplification. Oh, so what does that mean? Yeah, you cannot hear properly. Ah, I see. So when you can't hear properly, then uh, it will result in you not pronouncing your words properly mm -hmm. as well because, oh yeah, you need to hear and to complement uh, sound and uh, vocal, vocal and uh, this uh, hearing, well. hearing, yeah. yeah. Okay, so oh, it'll be life quality drops, huh? Because less enjoyment in music, in conversation. Because if you're talking and then I, if I can't hear you, you know that I <laughs> I get confused and it's a bit embarrassing to keep on asking the same question. So there are some dangers, indeed, miscommunication. Yeah. Then uh, social isolation because when you realize that you can't actually hear what the other person is talking you can't get your message across right. yeah and then you try so hard all the time and people are busy doing their own thing then you just decide to just back out you know so it'll cause social isolation uh, misunderstanding oh yes indeed i've come across um elderly uh older adults, adults right older yeah. adults uh, older adults so they, they speak very rude and like the shop assistant, do not want to help them. Yeah, Turn like the very back. loud and very rude like that. Uh, so it's actually... <laughs> Just um, miscommunication because they cannot hear. So because they are... I mean, they can hear, but it's very soft to them. It's like distorted. Not only soft, but distorted. Uh. So it's like not clear to them. So they're very frustrated. Uh. They cannot get the communication in. Mm. So of course, they cannot get the communication out when they are frustrated. You see, they cannot talk properly. Oh, and they, yeah. Because they cannot hear, so they must be speak very loud and then they use body language so they yeah. appear aggressive when actually no they're just trying to communicate but i i think it's a bit of a paradox that you see because loss of high frequency hearing when they can't hear right for example if i'm speaking to a uh, older, older adult ah uh, then if he can't hear can't hear i will like no it's supposed to be this yes. but he can't even he it, it, uh, you make it, he can't hear even more because I'm higher, higher, uh, higher frequency. But you're louder. So, I mean, it's human nature to want to speak louder. Mm. But whether he can hear or not, depending on his own hearing also. Ah. And of course, not only frequency, but the volume. The volume. Yeah. So, when we raise our voice, right, we're actually actually on a higher frequency. Then Both people tend to Yeah, then the home. older adult can't hear yeah, the higher frequency. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Wow. I never really thought about that. Thanks to Eileen for sharing <laughs> with that. Yeah, you're right. Oh, so we also, like living amongst uh, uh, older adults, I think we have to make adjustment as well mm, to accommodate. Correct, correct. Mm. So that's why I say the first part, miscommunication is very common. Yeah. Yeah, like for example, uh, when talking to an older adult, he or she might not be able to understand us. Then they will make their own assumption. <sighs> like, oh, okay, okay. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Or like whatever. They will like want to... Because they know they cannot hear properly oh, already. Dear. Then in the end, there's miscommunication. Mm. Yeah, so which is very sad. Actually, loss of hearing is more common than we know. Oh. Maybe I'll just share a, a story that I heard mm. that a lot of people... Uh, 
you know, some some people like older adults that they are diagnosed with dementia. Okay. Yeah, but after that, some of the results, uh, testing, repeated testing, then realize that these older adults they are not suffering from dementia. They just have a loss of hearing. That means they don't understand or they cannot hear properly what the doctor is saying, oh. what the assessor is saying. So. Because of the loss of hearing, they don't understand. Uh, you know, the assessor or the doctor or the medical professor thought that uh, the person has dementia. Oh dear! <laughs> and then diagnose him as or her as dementia, oh persons dear. with dementia. But actually, you know, the mind is still quite sharp. Uh. You know, no dementia, it's just that cannot hear properly. Wow, the quality of life really, really suffers. Uh. Mm. So uh, I guess we're also very, really reaching out to all our viewers uh, to pay attention to your loved ones and family members staying amongst you. Uh. If you notice any of these uh, symptoms happening with them, uh, of course, uh, empathy, uh, be more, pay more attention to them sure. uh, and try to understand their position uh, so yeah. that they can have better quality of life. Right. And then because mm. sense of hearing right, is a gradual thing also yeah. and uh, a lot of older adult think, think it's that important compared to eyes. Mm. You know, it's like, for example, I was saying there's eye centre but there's no touch centre. Yeah. There is a nerve centre of course, but hearing, is, there, I'm sure there is like, you know, departments for hearing. Yes. So uh, please seek advice although you might not think it's important but the quality of life you know we still want to optimize our aging process yes. so please you know visit a doctor seek out other treatments or you know there is this uh, get care get, get yeah. treatments yeah correct correct yeah indeed Can? optimize uh, healthy aging all right now for our <laughs> favorite part what do you think it is exercise. it is exercise yes let's do some simple eye exercises yay all you need is 10 minutes or less mm. Okay, um, there's a lot of different types of exercises, but for this one, it's just a very simple one sure. that we can do. All right, <laughs> very excited, right? I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I just get very tired eyes, like you mentioned, yeah. uh, all the blue, blue light and all. All the devices, right? Devices. Okay, first of all, blink your eyes for 30 to 60 seconds. Keep on blinking, you mean? Yeah, slowly, relax. Not, oh. Don't force, don't need to force. You just blink at your own comfort, you know? I don't know, uh, pretending that you are trying it's to... It's very soothing. It's very soothing, that's good, that's good. Yeah. Please, everyone, please try, you know. Let's spend one minute, uh, relax, you know, blink your eyes slowly. Don't force, don't strain. Uh, listen to my voice. Blink at your own pace. So the good thing about blinking your eyes is that it's a kind of cleansing as well. Oh, wow. Because you produce tears, so there is like, you know, some kind of cleaning of your eyes. And because you're not straining, you're relaxing. So it's like, you know, relaxing your muscle and yet, you know, moving it at the same time. Everyone, please, blink your eyes at your own comfort level. Remember, don't strain, don't force, at your own comfort level, just blink. Alright? Mm. Okay, I'll move on to the second exercise. Okay. How do you feel now, Eileen? Uh, much more relaxed, you know. Mm -hmm. So I... Uh, like what you say, you know, when you're blinking your eyes, actually you relax the muscle. Wow. Uh, because like you know when uh, we are talking we get engaged in the conversation wow we have a lot of intensity in the eyes <laughs> without realizing so when asked me to do that 30 to 60 seconds of blinking it really has a big difference yeah and we have control because we are telling our eyes to blink at what ah. speed at what uh you know intensity so mm. it's a very nice little exercise mm. okay we move on to the next one this one is rotating your head while staring ahead. That means you just look ahead uh -huh. and then you rotate. Maybe slowly, the eyes don't move, huh? keep focus on this one spot. You turn left, Oh, you rotate. Yeah, rotate. Eh. <laughs> and this actually relaxes straight. the eyes, that's very interesting. Yeah. You, I mean, at the same time, you are also exercising your neck. La. <laughs> uh -uh. So you do it for 30 to 60 seconds. Any directions that you prefer at your own comfort level. Okay. 
you can blink if you feel that you want to, no problem. It's just that try to focus on the single point. Wow, relaxing. Yeah, everybody, I hope you're doing it together Spencer, with us are also. you doing this as well? <laughs> How do you feel, Spencer? <laughs> Jenny, Jenny? <laughs> So, you know, I, I think this is more of a like, two-in-one exercise. At the same time, you are, you know, stretching your neck. You are also trying to exercise your eyes. Mm. Karen, how do you feel? <laughs> are you enjoying the exercise? <laughs> okay. Hmm. So this one is look to your left, right and left, also 30 to 60 seconds. So, uh, you know, your head straight, uh? head, head straight, don't move your head. Okay. But you look left, look right, look left, look right. You know, um, last time when I was young, there's all these, uh, I think they call it Chinese opera or wayang. Oh, yes? Yeah, and I think the actress, right, the... Opera actress, they have very nice makeup with big eyes or oh, the eye makeup. Yeah. And then they will do this, their head will be stationary, <laughs> but their eyes are like, tung, tung, oh, yeah? left, right, <laughs> left, right. <laughs> so I think, you know, this is actually good exercise and they've been doing it for so many years ago in ancient uh, performing arts. <laughs> and this will detox the eyes as well. Huh? Like uh, you mentioned, because uh, we keep the muscle active. Yes, correct. Uh, yeah, then the blood circulate also. Oh, I must do this more. Yeah. <gasps> take this Left chance right. to do. Everyone, please take this chance to Everyone, do. Everyone, join us. Come yeah, on. Yeah, because you never know when you will uh, remember to do your eye exercises. Yeah, I don't. Just they then. only stare at the devices all the time. <laughs> so this is a very good opportunity. Thank you, yeah, Louis. You can, oh don't my. look at your laptop. Just listen to my voice. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is such a good opportunity. Yep. So remember, just relax your body. Sit up straight. You can sit on the chair or sit against the wall. Stand against the wall. Keep your head straight. Don't move your head. Then your eyes, ding, left side. Ding, look, left right side. side. Ding, right uh, side. Left side, left side, right side, at Ding. own comfort level for around 30 to 60 seconds. It can feel energizing, you know, for the eyes after mm. doing And we neglect it. If you don't say right. this, is like, wow, I've never done <laughs> this. <laughs> My poor eyes, you've been yeah, neglected. Because, because there are so many chronic conditions, <laughs> right? I would say yeah. all the chronic conditions of the uh, eye, very scary, right? So yeah. we must do something about it. So what can we do? Do I exercise yeah, other than, exercises. of course, the nutrition diet part. Uh. Indeed, like you say, when we do that first, we can relax the muscle. Then we, uh, that's remove the strain. Then after you say the, uh, what's that? Uh, the tears, the tears. Mm. So there's detoxification also because more oxygen flows to the eyes. I'm going to do more. Cleaning, Yeah, cleaning, clean, clean, cleansing process. Yeah, so yeah. 30 to 60 seconds. La. Okay. Don't, don't need to do too long. No, uh, 60 really? seconds. <laughs> yeah, don't don't, don't, don't overshot one minute. La, uh, uh. Everything in moderation. Yeah, right? everything in moderation. Eat also moderation. Yeah. Makan also moderation. Yeah. I mean, exercise. Yeah. I'm going to take notes on this uh, and then practice the eye exercise. Really, the eyes, I think, is the most neglected uh, body organ, you know. Correct, correct, uh, correct. We all remember to exercise our body, you yeah. know, cardiovascular, la, strength training, la, balancing, uh -uh. La, but we forget about our eyes. Our eyes, So, yeah. hope that, you know, this century uh, function exercise can help you guys. Mm. Shall we move on to the next oh, exercise? Okay, okay. If you, if you must, <laughs> I, will con I, I want to carry on doing This one very easy. Uh -huh. Close eyes and relax oh my. for 30 to 60 seconds. <laughs> okay, is... I forgot to remind everyone that just now all the exercises that we do, right? Yeah. After, everyone, after every exercise that we do, just relax. Ah. Yeah, just close your eyes and relax. So some people, um, like for me, I like to rub my palms together, mm -hmm. keep my eyes closed, then my palms a bit warm, right? Then I'll just like hover over my eyes. No need to touch, just like almost touching. I can feel the warm. It's very like shook, no? It's like, I don't know what they call warm, warm feeling. sensation. Yeah, don't need to touch the eyes. Just keep it hovering. But of course, make sure your eye, hands are clean now with hand sanitizer or, you know, we wash with soap because uh, now COVID times are uh, cannot ne never be too careful. Lah.
nice or not? The wow. warm feeling. Yeah. yeah, don't need to touch your eyes, just keep it hovering. So blessed to have this session. Yeah, thanks so much. I hope everyone is joining us. Yes. <laughs> just be gentle. Right? How is everyone feeling? I hope you are feeling good. <laughs> no need to reply us now because we don't want to <laughs> see any devices. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's an eye exercise. Just listen to my voice. <laughs> okay, move on to the other exercise. Okay, sure. Now relax already, right? The eyes, like you got a very different vision. Ah. Yeah. Looks, very, looks and feel very different, right? Okay, now we move our gaze in different directions. For example, left, right, five seconds. Up, down, five ah. seconds. Make circular movement with our eyes and figure of eight. Okay. So remember, same right. as well, sit properly with your back straight or back against the wall. Okay. Don't move your head. Oh, don't move the head. Huh? Yeah, All don't right. move your head. So you eyeball, uh, you will see, uh, focus on the left, look on the left, then slowly look on the right. Then you look on the left again and look on the right. Don't move the head. Then look mm. on the left. Wow. Look on the right. Around five seconds. Hey, this is interesting because <laughs> I, I will not have attempt the circular or the figure of eight. And I feel my eyes, you know, the, the muscles. Oh. Yeah, five seconds each, used. you already jump ready. Yeah, I jump because I'm excited. <laughs> I, I'm very interested in this. <laughs> I, I don't, don't <laughs> yeah, follow you I, can tell, I, right? instruction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy I learned this. Yeah. Ayoh. So uh, for the next set, uh, for those who are following instructions, for the next five seconds, just you know, keep your head straight, you know, body straight. Don't move your head. Look up, look down. Look up, look down. Look up, look down for about five seconds. Wow. All right. Then we'll do a circular. So you know we can do a semi uh, sorry um circular. Huh? Yeah, you yeah, can clock do clockwise, clockwise and clockwise. Yeah, you can do both also for five seconds. It's so I do the clockwise first. Ayo, that's so mm. interesting. I can feel like one side the muscle is stronger than the other. No, really? so yeah. So it's very good that I notice this. Then maybe it's like the quality which one is lesser, so I can mean uh, balance it lah. Correct, correct. Yeah. But oh, then you're enjoying you're... your exercise. I can see. <laughs> then you you have to you mm. have to uh, of course you know talk to your doctor. Yes. Uh, tell him what you notice when you're doing the eye exercises, okay. and of course check with him and her whether the exercises are suitable for you. Yeah. And but any why? recommendation. Why, were we, why didn't we all uh, learn eye exercises when we were young? Ah, <laughs> now that I touch on it, I can really feel that there is muscles I working, think, you know. I think in school we do learn, it's just that we forgot oh, about we forgot. it. Maybe it's a one oh. session thing. Oh. I don't mean when I was in India, we have eye exercises and oh. it's a one session thing also. Mm -hmm. and I remember when I was in India, we have mm -hmm. a whole section on eye exercises mm. and we in a dark room. Uh, Mm. This is not included tonight, lah, huh? but what I was just sharing my experience is that in a very dark room, we will light a candle. Uh -huh. And then you have to focus on the candle, the flame in the middle spot. Oh. Yeah, but that is just a... Concentration as well, yeah. right? Mm. Right, but that's just a one section. Then we tend to forget also. Oh. So hopefully with this section, all of us can remember to do eye exercises regularly. I mean, try to do it once a day or once a week at your convenience. Just remind ourselves. It's the reminder part, actually. Mm. Okay? So, uh, we are doing like circular movement, right? Yeah. <laughs> I do clockwise, I haven't do anti-clockwise. So, now I do <laughs> anti-clockwise. <laughs> I don't know how the camera will capture me, but I guess it's going to be cool. Mm. Yeah. So, remember, don't move your head. Relax and just let your eye do the movements. At your own pace, at your own speed at your own comfort. Okay, and then now we do the like figure of it. I think the figure of it is I can I can practice. do it. I can do it. But have you done I this before? No, first time. First time. I can do it, but it, just that I feel one side more active than the other. Okay. Is, is then for your next eye appointment, maybe you can feedback to your doctor or so. Okay. Then of course ask him or her any recommendation or limitation. Yeah. Yeah. Because this is a very basic one. Mm. So everyone can try. Yeah. yeah. Just remember, don't force at your own pace, at your own comfort level. Mm. Mm. That's why I put all short, short, five seconds, 30 seconds kind of thing, you know, mm. so that we don't 
injure our eyes lah in a sense. Oh yeah, not too strained. Eh? Mm, Alright. So, <laughs> like after exercising, the time muscle gets strained. What if our eyes get strained? No, <laughs> it's, re it's uh, slow and easy yeah, movement. Slow yeah. and steady, win the race. <laughs> yes. Everything in moderation. Right? <laughs> yeah, correct. <laughs> so that's why I put 5 seconds on it. Mm. Okay, let's play with the next one. Okay. Close tight for 5 seconds and open 5 seconds. Okay. Total about 5 7 times. Okay, so we close tightly. 1,000, wow, 2,000, like 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. We open. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. Close again tightly. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. Open again. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. How many times already? Three times. <laughs> Shall we continue? I think it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to play. <laughs> want to play. Okay, we still got a few more. Mm -mm. Okay, this one is push fingers ah, to tempers wow. for five seconds. Okay. So we all know our tempers, right? Yeah. So we push. You see on one finger. Oh, let's start with one finger or two fingers okay. up to you. Okay, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. Mm. Okay, release. Yeah, push in. Okay? Are we stopping? I, I want to continue. <laughs> uh, uh, continue. Uh. <laughs> okay, not much time. Yeah? Okay, I'll do a quick one here. But it's really very relaxing. Yeah. This one, I think, will help with any headache or migraine also. Oh, <laughs> yeah, just so push in. No need to pull up. Just push in. Huh? Oh, just push in. Okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. And don't I need to use too much force also. Oh, because this is an entry level beginner oh. kind of thing, you know. Okay. Our eyes and our bodies are not used to exercises. <laughs> I'm so excited, you see. <laughs> How you feel? Feel better? Yeah, definitely. Feel better. That's why I'm so enthusiastic on the do more. <laughs> okay, okay, more than five okay, seconds okay. really. <laughs> Don't assert ourselves. Mm. Especially because eyes and uh, so for your right, our oh, nerves. Okay, yeah. okay. So first time, go easy, slow and steady. Okay, sure. Okay, we still have another one. This is cute. Remember, uh, our body straight mm -hmm. against the chair, sit on the chair or against the wall. Mm -hmm. Head don't move. Mm -hmm. Draw with your eyes. Uh. Mm -hmm. Draw triangle. Draw triangle, draw rectangle, mm. draw square, mm. draw circle. Mm. Yeah, draw all the shapes that you can think of oh. with our eyes. Mickey Mouse. Yeah, you can try. <laughs> then remember, uh, if possible, clockwise and anti clockwise. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a task. Yeah. But to me, I feel that because I'm still a beginner, right? When I draw square, become rectangle. When I draw rectangle, become draw square. <laughs> they end up all become circle. Uh. <laughs> okay? Yes. Okay, sure. then uh, of course, we close our eyes and move our eyeballs up and down mm -hmm. about five to ten times. Yeah, yeah this one, just close eyes and move the eyeball. Quite mm -hmm. straightforward. Okay, this one is our last exercise. Okay. We focus on our item or thumb mm. about 10 to 15, uh, sorry, 25 cm away. Yeah. We focus at it for 10 to 15 seconds. Just focus on spot, maybe on the tip of the thumb or the tip of the middle finger. So we focus on this, then we relax a bit. Mm. Then after that, we focus on something about uh, 1.5 to 3 meters away. Mm -hmm. Just focus for another oh. 10 to 15 wow. seconds. This, I, I can get the meaning, it's like, you know, you're changing the uh, distance. Distance, yes. Ah. Yeah, you so focus. Short sighted, you... long sighted, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Then you, yeah, just forward. Mm. Then after that, you relax a bit. Mm. Then you focus on something which is 3 to 6 meters away. Mm -hmm. Same for 10 to 15 seconds. Mm. Yeah, just a point or a tip of something. Yeah. Well, just to jump ahead, next week, what exercise will you teach us? I want to be prepared. <laughs> and then I can let my friends who's joining be prepared as well. Because today we got something that we wouldn't find easily, you know, eye mm. exercises. We yeah. even think of it. Like, I'm exactly. sure, you know, we, if we want to find, we can find. Indeed, indeed. Yep. Want to find, but um, it's not very common correct, to come correct. across. Like, you can go to the gym and then do various body mm -hmm. exercises, but not the eyes. And this is so essential, the eyes. Correct, correct. Yeah. Uh, so maybe, maybe later you let me know. Yeah, I'll <laughs> send to my friends. Oh, oh, you can yeah. feedback to me, you know, yeah. what kind of exercises ah, you want to do. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, can drop your comments, yeah, Doris's friends and all our viewers watching in, what kind of exercises you want to watch for next week. Yeah. Mm. So, I think we've come about so to the end. end of the program. Uh, remember, dear friends, yes, um, this is all about sharing. 
uh, and it's also to have empathy for uh, your family and loved ones around you. So we certainly hope that uh, you've picked up something and you've learned something and also uh, to be more aware of uh, uh, your, your friends around you, you know, uh, if you feel that they may they may uh, be having some of the symptoms. Maybe uh, you can be more compassionate towards them, try to be in their position yeah. so that you can help them with their daily activities. But of course, if they can seek medical advice, uh, that would be uh, ideal too. But we can do our part by uh, having compassion and empathy and to put ourselves in their position so that we can help them along the way yes. in their daily activities and all. Mm. Okay. Anything else you want to add, Doris? Uh, hope everyone had fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's I the most important also, part. Planning all the exercises. <laughs> mm. Okay, so we've come to the end of today's program. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, of course, uh, you can once again drop the comments in uh, to tell us what you'd like to watch for the next round. Thank you and have a very good night. Thank you, everyone. Thank yes. you.